Hi, this is Dr. Satish Pawar, Senior Surgical Oncologist, Care Hospital, Hyderabad. Hi, myself, Dr. Narain, Consultant Surgical Oncology in Care Hospital. So today uh, we are discussing about uh, management guideline treatment of early stage lung cancer. How frequent are you seeing lung cancer in your daily OPDs? So on an average, we see about uh, 20 cases of lung cancer per month, out of which most of them are locally advanced or uh, metastatic lung cancer. That means they are already spread to other organs. So hardly 10% of them come in operable stage. Okay. What are the usual risk factors you notice in your patients uh, coming with uh, lung cancer? So usually most uh, people come with a history of smoking. So cigarette or BD smoking is very common in our part of the country. So uh, apart from smoking, that is the active smokers, we even get passive smokers and other risk factors related to pollution play a major role in causing lung cancer. Yes, you rightly pointed out about passive smoking also, stressing on passive smoking even nowadays where uh, even passive smokers also getting lung cancer. So what are the most common symptoms you see among your patients uh, with the lung cancer? So. Most of the times, if patient is diagnosed of lung cancer or a mass in the lung, they are incidentally diagnosed. That means they do not have any symptom. They go to a doctor for some non-specific symptom and once they get their x-ray done, they have been diagnosed with a mass in the lung. Or most of the times, people go for general health checkups, that is yearly checkups, and then they get diagnosed with lung cancer so what are the investigations you do how you work up that patient regarding the staging and diagnosis so first and foremost thing is to do a biopsy india being a country of communicable diseases so tuberculosis is still rampant in our part of the country so that's why we need to prove that we are dealing with a cancer case Hence, biopsy is mandatory. Once the biopsy is done and it, we prove that it is a lung cancer, then we again do further tests to see whether which type of can lung cancer it is because the treatment varies from type of lung cancer to other type of lung cancer. And regarding the staging, uh, first and foremost important thing is the whole body PET CT along with MRI of the brain that we commonly do. Once you stage the patient, uh, how will you decide whether which patient requires uh, treatment, what treatment, what are the various treatment options available? So treatment depends on the stage of the disease. The first, second and the early third stage, we prefer to do surgery. And in case the patient is not fit for surgery, then we can we have radiation therapy to offer them. And once the patient comes in a locally advanced stage, that is late stages of third, that is 3B and 3C, then we give we offer them chemo radiation, that is chemotherapy with radiation. And in fourth stage, we have chemotherapy and various other newer options of treatment as. Uh, immunotherapy, targeted therapy and so on. Okay. Coming to surgical aspects, what exactly surgery, what exact you do uh, for a lung cancer patient? So traditionally, <clears throat> we do open thoracotomy uh, and now with, in, with newer inventions, uh, we have something called VATS, Video Assisted Thoracoscopic Surgery, just like laparoscopic surgery. We uh, do thoracoscopic uh, resections in which we give only 3.5 to 4 centimeter of incision and we are able to a single incision that is called unipotal VATS and we are able to do the uh, lung resections in the form of lobectomies and bilobectomies with mediastinal lymph nodal clearance. So every patient of lung cancer, early stage lung cancer requires lobectomy? So not in the trials, the newer trials which have come, if the uh, lesion, if the size of the, uh, uh, the lung mass is less than 
2 cm. Then we can offer a sublobar or a segmental resection in these patients in which we only remove the part of the lung which is affected by the cancer. And uh, in, ca in case the lung reserve is not good, that means the pulmonary function tests are not that great, then these uh, resections like uh, less than a complete lobectomy can be offered to these patients. Yes, rightly point out. Uh, in case if patient is not fit for lung cancer surgery, there is a thing called what we do pulmonary rehabilitation uh, one week or 10 days prior to the surgery, planned surgery. We will give aggressive physiotherapy to the lung. And that's how we will improve the lung function and take up the patient for surgery. Okay, once after the surgery, how uh, post-operative care will be there for patients? So, the starting uh, immediately after surgery, we keep the patient in the in the ICU and monitor these cases and we give good physiotherapy and we ask the patient to do good spirometry so that the remaining lung get, uh, expands well and then the patient recovers faster. Ideally we keep these, we, these patients are kept in the hospital for around three to five days and after which we discharge the patient and with the newer innovations with VATS, uh, unipotal VAT surgery, we are seeing better recovery of the patients and uh, the patient is almost ready to take the further treatment within 15 days of the surgery. So every patient requires uh, further treatment of surgery or any uh, criteria is there? What exactly uh, treatment required for those patients? So these patients again as staging is very important. So depending on the stage, the first uh, stage one doesn't require any treatment stage two and three they may require adjuvant therapy in the form of radiation or the newer form of therapy that is called immunotherapy for three years okay so once after completion of treatment how will you follow these patients so we call them every three months and do required investigations at least a basic chest x-ray if need be a ct scan or whenever we they complain of something else then we get a whole body pet ct done okay that's the end of discussion about the early stage lung cancer thank you